hello to anyone who has seen any other fitness updates I have given. This is just kind of a little random impromptu video I'm going to do just to talk a little bit about where I am with my health and fitness right now. Um, if you saw any other videos I have or if you have any interest in looking at any other videos I have, I was trying to document my fitness journey. I started, uh, I started my fitness journey about a year and a half ago, but I started documenting on YouTube about a year ago. May oh, maybe even longer ago. I'm not sure. Um, maybe two years ago? I have no idea. I have no idea at this point. Anyway, I was trying to document a little bit with little video updates here and there. Um, in the beginning of 2020, 2019, in the beginning of 2019, I started working with a personal trainer. Uh, unfortunately, he ended up getting injured in June, so we kind of had a weird training after like six months in. So it was in January that I started working with him about six months in. He got injured, so we had kind of a weird system going. He had to have surgery a couple of times. Um, he had other clients in that as well. It was he was great help 100% loved working with him 100% still used the workouts when I was still going to the gym before the Rona happened um so any any other updates you want you can go to go watch any of the videos um basically I had my highest weight was 210 pounds working with the trainer I had gotten down to about 147 I'm gonna say 150 let's say about 150 uh, so I lost quite a bit of weight some of that um, I had lost on my own prior to working with the trainer in that like four or so months I had been working out uh, in different ways before working with the trainer, before getting a gym membership, all that. Uh, he helped me with my meal plans. I'm a vegetarian. Um, so that all is that. Uh, I was doing pole dance classes or pole fitness classes uh, for a little while. Unfortunately, I stopped that um, for a bit. I would eventually like to go back. Everything's closed right now and I'm in Ontario. Uh, Ontario Canada we are under uh, a lockdown and B a stay-at-home order right now so you are not supposed to go anywhere at all um, so everything is closed pretty much except for essential businesses a few things have curbside pickup going on it's whatever no gyms are open no fitness places are open it's cold and snowy outside um, so anyway I had I think in my last update said I had gained like 30 pounds or something like that I've gained almost like 45 pounds now I think I went, like I said, about 150. I'm now like one, 185, maybe even 190 at this point. I'm not entirely sure. I kind of avoid weighing myself, to be honest. I know I'm not at my healthiest. Um, a big thing that says I'm not at my healthiest is my asthma. So I am I am an asthmatic. I do take an inhaler uh, every day. Just uh, That's just kind of asthma I have. Um, but I have noticed I'm needing my inhaler a lot more often. I am needing it after really minuscule, like not even a workout, like walking across my apartment sometimes I'm like I can't breathe um so I can clearly tell I'm not at my best health of that as well as some joint pains um little random things like that getting sweatier a lot easier that's another common thing that I'm dealing with so there's all those little things that I've noticed that I'm clearly not healthy anymore uh, at least as healthy as I would like to be as well as I'm eating kind of like trash because I hate cooking I'm a terrible cook um I'm not a lazy cook I'll, I'll be honest uh, so with that, I haven't been eating as healthy. I was eating a lot of like tofu and rice and quinoa and edamame and peas and broccoli. That was like my main like food, beans, lentils. Um, so I always had that meal prepped. It was really easy to always have on hand in containers, heat it up, eat it. It was good to go, especially with work and that I had structure. Now I have definitely gotten a lot more depressed, a lot more anxious. Um, I don't really go out and get my groceries. I kind of just deal with what I have in the house. I rarely try and go out and eat a lot of oatmeal right now because that's what I conveniently have. Um, I've ate a lot of pasta because again, it's convenient. It's easy to have. Uh, obviously that's a lot of carbs. Not great. I'm also not getting a lot of exercise. I have a dog right there. Uh, I do walk her at least once a day, uh, unless it's super, super cold out or raining or something. Um, but every day I do try and take her for at least a half an hour walk. Sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's shorter. It depends on the weather. It depends on her. She's also 11 years old, so she doesn't always go for the longest walks. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I don't really have any real updates. I mean, I'm jiggly. I have no fucking muscle. Um, part of my language. I used to like be able to flex and like I was proud of my back muscles. I had like some good like strong legs going on. I was like resting like 300 pounds. Um, I had like biceps coming in. My face, my freaking jaw was chiseled. I had cheekbones that I didn't have to make with contour. Um, and that's, that's all gone. That is gone. Um... So that's fun and even like before the gyms so the gyms did briefly open in the summer and um, I did go to the gym a little bit 
and even then like I noticed I could hardly lift what I used to lift I could hardly I did like I think 170 maybe 180 on the leg press was my highest so like significantly less than what I was used to um I was again I needed my puffer need I had actually had an asthma attack at the gym um the one day which was terrifying um I, I whipped my mask off and I was like grabbing onto the wall I thought I was gonna pass out I, I was gonna fall it was awful I was getting looks from everyone because I was like <laughs> with my mask um yeah that's that's all I have to say though so nothing super crazy, nothing super wild, just I figured I do fully intend on wanting to track my fitness updates because that is something I want to do for me. Um, I want to keep track of that to be able to look back on that. And so if I do, again, kind of like right now I've gained weight, I have something to reference back to to kind of know what, where I was at. Again, in the future, if I want to lose more weight or want to gain more muscle, um, what be, or if I gain weight, I try to get back to a healthier fitness place. Um, I have some some sort of something to reference, something for before and after. Uh, again, I'm not trying to like get skinny or get um, pretty. I'm trying to be healthy. Like I, I'm not uncomfortable in my body at this point. I used to be. I used to be really insecure. Um, I'm not. I'm pretty comfortable with where I'm at. Don't really care. I'll still wear a crop top. I'll still wear short shorts. I don't give a shit. I got bikinis. My bikinis are thong bikinis when my boobs fall out of the tops and everything too. Um, like I'm super open about my body. Um, but like I said, I'm not healthy anymore and I can tell that I'm not healthy anymore and that's my issue. I just want to be healthy and I want to be strong. Um, especially because there is a lot of health problems that run in my family. I've mentioned that before too. Anyway, that's all. I know this is kind of a really, really weird, long, rambly video, but again, this is more or less for me, the fitness stuff, as opposed to for everyone, but I am sharing it because someone else might be in a similar situation to me and just want to make sure that they're not alone or feeling lost or depressed because they've gained weight or lost muscle, muscle mass and whatever it be. So thank you. That's all. Have a great day.